look at this. That's the phone. And this is what we're seeing from this little wireless camera. This right here is called the Mate Go, and it's a miniature little tiny camera which can be used as a spy cam, but it has the dimensions of 42 millimeters length, 42 wide, 20 millimeter in height. It only weighs 25 grams, and it records in 1080p, 30 frames per second, 400 milliamp hour battery, works on Android and iOS. Battery life is 75 minutes with Wi-Fi mode off, so Wi-Fi transfer for video, you can see what's working on your phone. Micro SD card in there, eight megapixel camera, time lapse, comes with a clip, suction pad, adhesive, and magnet pouch. So, let's take this out. Now this is kind of hanging in there and it's been rolled around. So it's protected with a little lens cap. Let's open it all up. It's nicely, you know, packaged in there so it's hidden. Oh, this is his little base clip. All right, so we have the instructions. Get to know your live camera, recording, how to mess with stuff. And we'll look at the accessories here and we can see that it's being held by a little clip. There's a little lift part there. So that's the clip. This is a sticky pad really stick it onto a part that you want to always have it same thing and this is a magnet one so you can stick it on a fridge or a metal pole so if this was the metal pole it'd stick right onto it and the micro usb cable so it does have a charge insert a micro sd card first right i forgot to let someone my 32 card and i have the 256 evo card let's see if this works inside of it some of them say that they can't support any higher i don't know why but that is a lot of memory for this little thing here. Okay, so in the back we see the Wi-Fi in the power indicator, micro SD card, there's a charging port, and then there's a lanyard hook up there so you can never lose it. And then there's the taking a picture and recording. So we're gonna go to Neo Me app. Let's accept it. Press open. And now we have this little window saying check, but it's not on, so I'm gonna hit the power and it's green and yellow. Okay, it says I need to connect to the Wi-Fi. Clicking on the cam, it's connected now. We'll go back to the app, confirm password, done. Wants me to for, oh no, I'm formatting whatever I had on there. It's being erased. <laughs> wow, this quality, just from my phone alone, look at this. That's the phone, and this is what we're seeing from this little wireless camera that is crazy good looking i am impressed and yet you'll be able to hide this in that quality wow you can see how i sit here and make videos like i'm gonna hide this over here sitting right there let's say i have it hidden in a nice place it has a really good wide angle Yeah, this has a wide angle for sure. Look how all that mess over there. <laughs> okay, let's use the little metal clip here and put it on this little mesh grill. It just made a noise. So it just captured a picture. Let's do video. Whoa, this is the video mode. Now it is definitely lag here. We're gonna press record here. Just made a weird beep noise, but it's recording right Meow. No, I have to see this. So at this position that I'm recording in, I can see myself just fine. And that wide angle, like this is a real, like not even my camera that you're looking at right here, right in front of me, can even look out there underneath my monitor. You can see that it just shows so much more with a wide angle. Let me see what it looks like with the lights off. That's what it looks like with the lights off. I'm impressed. This, I did not expect this out of this and it looks so good actually I'll just take it off of here and bring it up so it's still recording moving around that it records this good <clears throat> noise came out now there's time lapse as well there. So instead of getting a whole bunch of actual video, you can make it do time lapse pictures, but it'll take pictures at certain different times. And then share. I just noticed that it lowered the quality so that I can share it. And it has a little ring around it. Let me show you here. It has a little ring right there showing you that it's gonna go a certain spot. Doing some kind of rendering there. 
So it's almost done. We're gonna see what that does. Ready to share. So that's transferred. Look, at, I can actually put it right now. Super cool. You can imagine all the things you can prank people with because sometimes hiding cameras is very hard but this is gonna be very easy to hide. Okay, as I'm editing the video, I noticed that the audio was very loud and doesn't sound like it was good. So I went back into the app and it's charging and still displaying. So I can use it while it's charging. As you can see, it's still showing. And if I click on this little gear, it's gonna go into the settings furthermore. And you can drop the resolution all the way to VGA, record file, time-lapse interval. So if you want it to be every 60 seconds to take a picture, mic level, that is on high, so if it's gonna be hitting somewhere in a dark box or the subject's gonna be far away, you wanna put it on high, but I'm gonna put it on low so we can see if we can fix that audio quality. And you can change the resolution to lower, so it's recording eight megapixels. You can put the GPS flicker frequency, so if it's flickers on certain things that you have in the background, you can put it at 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Then you got advanced setting, turn off HDR. I think that's why it looks so colorful while I'm recording. So let's turn that off and see what that looks like without being colored. The buzzer, so you can turn it off so it doesn't show or make a sound that it's recording. Timestamps, and you can disable the wide angle look as well, so we'll turn that off. And that's pretty much what we changed. Just took a picture there. And there's also filters, if you click on that, you can change it to black and white. Sapia, there's vivid, and then sketch. Whoa, that looks cool. Let's take a picture here. And this is the video mode, it doesn't have any filters for the video though. And now I'm gonna press record. It's recording and there is a red blinking indicator up there. See if that looks better and if it sounds better. So as you can see here, I'm still editing. Now this is the difference between what it was sounding with when it was super loud. Now I'm just logging into my computer here because I'm going to start editing pretty soon. But I just wanted to showcase that you can use it without your phone so you don't need to rely on it. But you can't see where you're putting it. But I'm liking the colors. I'm surprised how well the colors get handled from this. And again, hoping that the audio it improved itself. So far, I have to say that I, <laughs> I said it so many times in the video, I was impressed because it is impressive and I'm excited to uh, use this because it's something that I can use and use footage for certain different scenarios. I could, put, I could stick it onto like a skateboard, onto a window of a car or a dash cam. I can use this, definitely. And while it's charging, that's even a good thing. I don't have to use my phone to take pictures or videos. All I have to do is press once for pictures and press and hold for video and it'll give you a little solid red line saying that's recording and once it's dying it does start blinking and so let's go back I'm gonna take a screenshot right now so we can see the angle difference and do the wide angle take a picture there okay that's not fish eye and that's fish eye so how much more do we see um just a little bit more not even that much honestly I think it's better having it off because it doesn't warp too much you see that's a straight line for the monitor and then a little bit curved for the monitor it does show just a little bit more it's keeping it off with the wide angle and it looks great without it for how long it can record and the quality that you're getting out of this i'll be able to actually use this for footage if you want it for yourself find it in the description down below and as always thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time later you better turn up me rocking if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead